Hello, this is Sayyid Ezaz Ali Shah from the Sayyid Academy of Learning. Today, once again, I'm back with another most important lecture, which is related with the field of forensic science. And eventually, it is related with the field of criminology, law, criminal justice system, criminal investigation, etc. Today, I have made this video in English language, so it's a kind of international video in order to make all of my followers across the globe to get the idea about this lecture and to feel them comfortable. So actually this lecture is about the DNA. So it's very important in the field of criminal investigation because nowadays you people can see and observe in your daily observation and routine uh, that a lot of unfortunate cases are coming in front of us like rape cases, child abuse cases and DNA plays a crucial role in order to link the crime with the offender. And with the help of this DNA as a evidence, the law enforcement agencies apprehend the suspect and then after comparing the DNA of the suspect and the disputed sample which is collected from the crime scene, if it get compared, so the suspect leads towards conviction. If it didn't get compared, then the law enforcement actors are striving to apprehend the other suspect in order to collect DNA from them and to compare it with the disputed DNA evidence. So it is very very important. So DNA plays an important role. So uh, let me make it more clear for you people that what we will study in this lecture. So this lecture will be about the what is DNA, what are the sources of DNA, sampling, it's very important. In this module you will come to know about that from which sources the law enforcement agencies collect the DNA sample. And then we will study that how DNA is helping in solving the cases, like in identifying the suspect which may lead to conviction, match of a sample from DNA database, identification of unknown dead body, pregnant victim rape case, so we will study about the role of DNA in this situation, identifying victims of crime and linking crimes. And last but not the least, which is very important, we will study about uh, what is the matching percentage of DNA with the other people. With the other people means that with the parent, with the sibling, with the uncle, etc. So to know about all these important areas with regard to DNA, be with me till the end of this video lecture. And if you people didn't subscribe my channel yet, so please do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon as well. So, let's start. What is basically DNA? Every person has a different genetic code which gives information about their person. 46 chromosomes contain this code and made of a chemical called DNA, short form of deoxyribose nucleic acid. So DNA is the short form of deoxyribose nucleic acid which is also important with regard to MCQs as well. DNA is a powerful investigative tool because with the exception of identical twins, no two people have the same DNA. Therefore DNA evidence can be collected from a crime scene and can be linked to a suspect or can eliminate a suspect from suspicion. Now let's jump towards the sources of DNA samples. So these are the sources from which the DNA samples are collected by the law enforcement agencies, especially by the forensic experts who are working in these agencies. So these are very important because from these sources DNA sample can be collected, which later on examined in the forensic lab or in the DNA lab in order to compare it with the suspect DNA sample. So the sources are blood, saliva, semen, urine, feces, hair with tissue, nails with tissue, teeth, bone, tissues, cells. A part of this, the samples from the following items, if touched or torn by perpetrator, DNA should be taken from these as well, like masks, hats, gloves, clothing, weapons, underclothes, bedding, dirty laundry, fingernail scrapings, cups, bottles, cigarettes, toothpicks, toothbrush, facial tissue, hairbrush, eyeglasses, condoms, tap, stamps, envelopes, ligatures, 
like rope, wire, cords, etc. Now let's know that how DNA is helping in solving the criminal cases and what are the function and role of DNA in different situations and in different cases. So let's know about that it also helps and perform a crucial role in identifying the suspect which may lead to conviction as well. So in cases where a suspect is identified, a sample of DNA of that person can be compared to disputed evidence means to disputed DNA which has been collected from the crime scene. So the results of this comparison may help to establish whether the suspect committed the crime or not. The second one is match of DNA sample from the DNA database. If a country is having a DNA database, so it becomes very easy for that law enforcement agencies and for a state in order to collect their DNA evidence and then to compare it in the DNA database. So it is helpful for those countries as well. So let's know about it that in cases where a suspect has not yet been identified, biological evidence which is DNA from the crime scene can be analyzed and compared to offender profiles in DNA databases to help identify the perpetrator. Crime scene evidence can also be linked to other crime scenes through the use of DNA database. Another important function of DNA is in the identification of unknown dead body. DNA is an important source for identifying the dead body. If a family claims that this is their body, then DNA should be taken from them and it should be compared in order to know the legitimacy of the hires, which they have claimed with regard to the dead body. And in case of pregnant victim rape cases, DNA is also playing a critical role. When pregnant victim cannot decide the father of a child when she had suffered rape incident, then DNA of a child can be compared with the DNA of a parent to determine whether the child belongs to whom. DNA is also playing an important role in identifying the victims of crime, so it's another important function of DNA in criminal cases to enable the victim of crime to be identified. In some cases where the condition of the body when discovered has left the victim unidentifiable. Here and many other parts of the body can provide viable DNA evidence. This can be analyzed and profiled to identify the victim of the crime. And last but not the least, linking crimes. So if the DNA is found at two different crime scenes, it can be used to link together the crimes. This allows criminal investigation to determine if a serial criminal is at large or to establish if the victims knew one another. So these were some important function of DNA which it plays in the criminal cases and in order to solve the criminal case and help the law enforcement agencies and the judiciary in order to convict the offender and to provide justice to the victims and to spread deterrence as well. Now let's know about the matching percentage of DNA. So 50% of DNA is same and is matching with the parents and with the full siblings. 25% DNA is same or is matched with the half sibling, grandparent and uncle, while the DNA of identical twins is same. This is very very important point that those who are identical twins, their DNA is same. But yet you should know about it that their DNA is same but yet their fingerprints will be different from each other. So I hope that you people may have learned a lot from this lecture with regard to DNA. If you people are still confused and have any question regarding DNA, so you can ask me questions in the below comment section as well. And if you people didn't subscribe my channel yet, so do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon as well in order to get notifications for the upcoming lectures. So thank you very much and stay in touch with my channel regularly. God bless you.